health. When you look at the number of cases in the U.S., especially in the South, they've increased really quite dramatically. What will it take to get these surges under control? Well, the virus is always going to be with us here. Some of the efforts to drop down the number of cases by these public health interventions their purpose is to get the cases down to a level that can be managed with testing and contact tracing. Uh, it's clear from what's happening in, across the South that many of the U.S. states did not get to a low enough level of cases for them to transition to relying on contact tracing and testing as a way to keep the virus down. So. First and foremost, case numbers have to get down to lower levels so that other methods can be put in place that allow for the economy to open up, but also to keep the virus cases down. Andrew, we talk about a manageable level of, of you know, cases. What is a manageable level? Is it the number of places that you have in ICU? How do you measure it? So you need to make sure that you have hospital surge capacity, meaning that you have uh, numbers of open beds so that uh, you can handle cases coming through. But another important measure is to only have around 5% of the total amount of tests that you're administering come up positive for COVID-19. That's a CDC guideline, and there's some flexibility there in terms of, the, uh, of, of what number you want to reach. But if you get to that level, that tells you that there's a low enough number of cases that a good contact tracing mechanism can be put in place to keep those numbers down. Andrew, you're an actual virologist, so you do also a lot of research on your own, and you're looking at, you know, how viral proteins, for example, target, the, the, you know, some of the, the factors or some of the cells. What have you learned in your research? So this virus is, is very, very interesting in terms of the way it interacts with cells. It is able to cause a wide spectrum of disease, and part of that is that the virus can um, short-circuit certain uh, ways that your uh, body responds to infection, yet it can allow other immune responses to really ramp up uncontrollably. And a real key area of research is trying to understand why do some people sort of fall towards the more severe case of having their immune systems being ramped up, whereas other people can really control the virus quite well and have very mild symptoms. If we can understand that, then that could really inform treatment measures that we can put in place uh, for those severe cases of COVID-19.